we're in the midst of a quarter, so I hope you forgive me that I don't give you exact numbers. But uh, what we've seen is, if yeah, you mentioned it yourself, if, if a country goes uh, out of lockdown, of course we see people returning to work. Uh, so that's good. Uh, the, Europe, or Asia, Asia first, uh, then Europe. Uh, yeah, and, and maybe now the US, uh, a bit of a strange number uh, last Friday. So remains to be seen uh, how structural that is. Uh, but uh, yeah, seems like uh, we're getting back to work. And as you said, we want that to be safe. So we have uh, created uh, safe protocols in all sectors, close to 30 countries, to help people get back to work and stay healthy while at work. And when we think about the medium term outlook when it comes to employment, one of the big questions is how many of uh, these jobs that have been lost will be permanently lost and how many of them will come back when economies reopen. And part of the equation then becomes um, upskilling and reskilling workers who are part of industries that uh, may not ever come back the way they were. So how is this whole reskilling and upskilling actually going to work? Where does the onus lie in terms of preparing workers for the jobs of the future? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, we created the Alliance of Safety Back to Work to very much create uh, um, coalitions of governments, employers, trade unions and our sector. Our sector is the biggest employer in the world, providing some 58 million jobs. So we know where the world is going to be. So. Uh, we really need to join forces. So we see some industries, we talked about travel and airlines, the future is unsafe, uh, or, or how do you call it, uncertain. Uh, but we do see demand in healthcare, uh, in uh, logistics, in education. So we need to reach out to every individual who's lost his job to really discuss, can you get back to your former job? Do we need to reskill you? So we have pledged in the US, as, in, as Randstad, to reskill 40,000 people. And um, also in our Dutch business, for example, reskilling 10,000 people. So that's what needs to happen uh, because people, probably a large part of them, will need to change jobs and reskill for a new job.